This video considers two transformations, in this case translations, of a given function. Now we know that this function has got roots at the values 5, minus 2, and also x equals minus a half. And we also know that it cuts the y-axis when x is 0 at minus 5 times 2 times 1. So the y-intercept is going to be minus 10. Now, in part 3, this just means move the graph across 0 and down by 8. So if we move this graph down by 8, then the y-intercept will just move down by 8. So therefore the new y-intercept will just be minus 18. If it was minus 10, it's moved down by 8, it goes to minus 18. This is a vertical translation. The next part is more tricky. It's horizontal translation. However, what this means is that each of the roots here must have moved to the right by 3. So rather than 5 minus 2 minus a half, the new roots must be 8, i.e. 5 plus 3, 1 minus 2 plus 3, and also minus a half plus 3 will be 2.5. So therefore I can find the new equation quite quickly, because if they're the roots, the factors must be x minus 8, x minus 1, and the bracket which gives you 2.5 as a solution must be 5, 2x minus 5, because 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. So therefore, to find the y-intercept, I just need to let x equals 0. So therefore it becomes minus 8 times minus 1 times minus 5. And if you times all these values together, you get the answer minus 40. So the y-intercept is minus 40.